The QCPR option offers real-time measurement and corrective feedback on the rate, depth, complete release of compressions, ventilation rate, and lack of CPR activity in accordance with current CPR guidelines. QCPR is available in manual defibrillation mode, AED mode, and pacer mode. QCPR should not be used on patients younger than 8 years of age or patients weighing less than 25 kilograms. QCPR offers easy-to-follow visual indicators and audio prompts to provide feedback to the rescuer when CPR performance deviates outside of target ranges. It requires the use of Philips multifunction defibrillation electrode pads to measure ventilation activity for adult patients as well as acquire an ECG signal and deliver a shock as needed. Prior to using the Heart Start Intrepid, the QCPR meter should be connected to the device. To use QCPR, connect the pad's CPR cable into the green therapy port, pushing until you hear it click into place. To connect the CPR meter to the pad's CPR cable, Align the arrow on the CPR meter cable with the arrow on the receptacle end of the pad's CPR cable. Push until you feel it snap into place. There should be no gap between the two connectors. To attach the adhesive pad to the meter, peel one pad off the strip, exposing the adhesive surface on the underside. Apply the pad to the back of the CPR meter, covering the entire flat oval surface. Do not peel off the green liner from the front of the pad until you are ready to apply the device to a patient. To place the CPR meter on the patient, ensure the patient's skin is clean and dry. If necessary, clip or shave the hair from the sternum area. Peel off the green liner from the CPR meter adhesive pad to expose the adhesive surface. Position the CPR meter so the compression area is placed on the lower half of the sternum, on the center line of the bare chest, as illustrated on the front of the CPR meter. It is acceptable if the CPR meter overlaps the defibrillator pad. The CPR meter provides feedback about compression depth and if you are completely releasing pressure after compression. The CPR meter also provides feedback about compression rate. When the correct compression depth is achieved, the bottom target lights up. When the pressure is completely released, the top target lights up. If your compression fails to meet the target depth, the compression depth target zone does not light up. If four consecutive compressions fail to meet the depth target, a yellow arrow appears on the display, pointing to the depth target zone. If the compression depth is not corrected, the Heart Start Intrepid provides corrective voice prompts. Compress deeper. If the CPR meter detects a compression that reaches 70 millimeters, the area below the compression depth target area lights up. If you do not fully release pressure between four consecutive compressions, the CPR meter display shows a yellow arrow pointing up to the compression release target zone. If the CPR meter detects the compression rate is within the target area, the speedometer needle on the compression rate indicator points to the green target zone, which lights up. If the CPR meter detects your compression rate is faster than the target rate, the needle on the compression rate indicator points to the right of the green target zone. If the compression rate is not corrected, the Heart Start Intrepid provides corrective voice prompts. Compress slower. If the CPR meter detects your compression rate is slower than the target rate, the needle on the compression rate indicator points to the left of the green target zone. If the compression rate is not corrected, the Heart Start Intrepid provides corrective voice prompts. Compress faster. This completes our program on the Heart Start Intrepid. We've covered an overview of the device's features and controls explained how to monitor ECG, obtain a 12-lead SpO2, NBP, ETCO2, and temperature, manage alarms and display trending data, and demonstrated AED and manual defibrillation, synchronized cardioversion, pacing therapy, 
and qCPR. Please remember that prior to using the Heart Start Intrepid and for additional information, you should read the instructions for use and review the other training materials. These materials not only include details about monitoring and defibrillation functionality and operation we covered in this video, but also information about device configuration, care, and troubleshooting, as well as data management.